Hi, and thank you for watching. I wanna talk all about bullet journaling today. I wanted to do a flip through of my 2020 bullet journal and do a review on my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. If you are a subscriber already, welcome back and happy new year. Thank you so much for clicking onto this. If you are new, welcome. I'm Francesca Fox and this is my channel. So let's start off with the review. So this is the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I believe this only comes in one size. So they have ring agendas and those come in small, medium, and large, and they come in all different materials. Material, but I just wanted the desk agenda cover. I bullet journal in a bound notebook. This is my agenda and yeah 7.1 by 9 by 1 inches. If you can see here this notebook of mine has quite a bit of overhang in this book. To keep this a little bit sturdy on the inside I have my photos that I've printed from Pinterest and my own photos and stuff like that and then I also just have the envelope that came with this agenda as well as this card and then my card. That's me. So they just keep this book sturdy and I love this and I'm not afraid of this to get wear and tear on it because I do intend on living in this book. It was super easy to um, apply, install, whatever. I really do prefer having a bound notebook. I don't like rings. I don't know why. At the agenda, 10 out of 10. I love it. I'm really glad I bought it. I think it looks so chic. Let's get into a flip through. This book I have is a minimalist book that I purchased on Amazon. Same exact one as last year, and it's just a little skinnier than the average A5, I believe. My bullet journal has dotted paper, and looking at the reviews, I think this might be like a generic book. As soon as you go in, I have this quote from Beautiful and Damned. I just wanted something to look at. I will change this throughout the year, I'm sure, but it was just better than having nothing there. Here is my very under construction index. I do not have this laid out cute at all yet. My personal preference, the first thing that I wanted in my book is my calendar. So here's my January. I like to have the regular calendar as well as the listed calendar. I don't have enough of an agenda to need an hour by hour kind of scheduling. So having each day like this is just fine. I put birthdays in blue. I weigh myself on Thursdays. I do that in maroon. When I post a video, I like to put it in silver. Black is just plans, like appointments and all that. And uh, whatever else, whatever else there is. I bought stickers all, pretty much all from Amazon. After my calendar, I just wanted to do my 2019 highlights. Those are these right here. Visiting Kelsey, my best friend, a home remodel that I've done. Very, very very, very big deal for me. I just I, like I feel like 2019 was such a good year. And then the next page, I just have this quote says, "Visualize your highest self and start showing up as her." So these are just some aesthetic goals that I want to go for. I love the blue black hair. It's something I'm always striving for. Um, Elle Woods is my spirit animal. I look up to that character a lot, and I try to just okay when things aren't being as accepted as I would like. Do you remember like when magazine articles used to have the celebrity like write on them, like do handwritten profiles or whatever? I uh, tried to emulate that with my dogs. So here's Cindy and Sebastian. Fun fact, I don't like love the name Cindy, it just like stuck. I don't call her Sin for short because those are bad. So I call her Shin for short and I looked it up and Shin actually means dog in French. So on her profile, I have it saying shin just like the tattoo I got of their names and then here I have a spot for when I read books and when I watch movies I am in the middle of a book but once I finish is when I will put it on here the next page is just an aesthetic page like it kind of reminds me of like Pinterest tumblr kind of vibe just pretty girls like things there are so many important aspects to a person you know their heart their mind and all that but the thing that's easiest to convey on paper is the aesthetic and their look. So that's what I have on here. Then I have my 2020 goals and all that. So the rest of the book really is just half done layouts. I want to have my pages pretty already. I put themes all throughout this book. I just sectioned them off and then I left spots to post pictures from throughout the year or to add more to the layout and decorate it and stuff like that. So it's not like completely done. It's definitely still room for living in. but I just wanted 
pretty basic layouts throughout the book. So yeah, I'm very excited. I do plan on writing in this every single day. I find really good writing prompts on Pinterest, but sometimes I'm just really inspired and I wanna write in here. It's not just a journal. I also like to write out like some shopping lists or goals lists or YouTube video ideas. I don't have any rules, you know, like it's a scrapbook, it's a journal, it's an agenda, it's a to-do list, it's, you know, that kind of stuff. I like having it really fluid. I don't like it being too boxed in. I'm on the market for a printer. I do have a Sprocket by HP. The pictures fade kind of fast and they're not very HD. So the best pictures that I have in here, I got printed at CVS. And then also at Walmart, they print and they have like layouts because they have like four by six paper. You can do like layouts. So that's how I got these smaller photos and I just cut them. That was a cool option to have smaller photos because four by six and five by seven is pretty big for a book this size. Oh, and this pen I got from Etsy. The shop is actually closed right now, but I did find a comparable shop, which I'll probably end up buying a few more pens from. So that is my bullet journal and the review of the agenda. I'll link everything down below. And if you have input on your bullet journal and you want to talk about it, please do. I'm really interested in this subject. Thank you so much for watching. I love this thing. I love how motivated it keeps me. I think writing is a great way to express yourself, hold yourself accountable for your goals, it makes you want to work harder. It just helps you analyze yourself. You're worth it and it's like a fun way to get to know you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.